morning, folks. A uh, small army of police, uh, Ministry of Defence police, out this morning. Uh, this guy, when I got here, was harassing the horses uh, off his head completely. He's still like all over the place. Uh, so we've not only got our usual contingent uh, of officers over here, as you can see, uh, making sure he can't come back. Uh, we've also got another three at the gate, um, making sure they can't come back. And if that wasn't enough, uh, yeah. Ministry of Defence Police, uh, as you can see. Unusual uh, for them to actually call that a vehicle. But yeah, the guy's obviously a complete clown, off his head. Um, but I think that's the first time I've seen a Ministry of Defence Police vehicle here outside Horse Guard. So it's, yeah, I mean, it's unusual. But hey, just when you think everything's going to settle down and be relatively normal and peaceful and so on, uh, guess what? It's not. So the police are definitely on high alert this morning. You can see that. Horsey's not in a good mood either. I'm pretty sure uh, that the clown was pulling on the reins or whatever else. And then he sort of, uh, he scarpered. But he's back and forwards, back and forwards. Guys, an absolute Fruit Loop. Horsey, don't worry, it's okay. Fruit Loop is going to go. Yikes, yeah. Not, uh, not the most auspicious of starts, I must say, for a Wednesday morning. Yeah, he's going to end up getting arrested, I'm sure he will. They're still watching him. He's off his head completely. Um, plus, all of, the, uh, all of the tourists here are also wondering what just happened. I wonder the horses that want to settle down. I mean, it kind of makes sense in a way because there were a lot of people here already. But obviously, if he, uh, if he grabbed the reins, if he was a bit cheeky, that would explain why the horse had a bit of a freak out. Did the, did the fruit loop guy grab the reins? Was he kind of trying to grab the reins? No, no, no. Just being his usual happy self, yeah? Lovely. Oh dear, guys. Not sure why the horse is a bit upset. I'm going to try to zoom in on his hoof number because if I can do that, there is a 66% chance of me identifying this horse right now. Why? Because I've got two full lists now. Uh, there are three troops. I've got two full troop lists, meaning there's only one missing. So let's zoom in using my other phone and let's see if I can pick up the number. So let's take a picture. Okay, so the hoof number is... Oh. Actually, I think I need to get a bit bit closer. Look at that, it's a bit hard to read, actually. It's like one, two, three. One second. Let me see if I can get right in front for that hoof number. Sometimes they're super hard to read, especially on the, uh, the older horses because the hoof prints are worn down a teeny bit. Let's have a look this time. Goodness me, I can't even make that one out, folks. Let me zoom in with this uh, this phone that we're filming on. See if you guys can uh, can pick it up in the comments. Oh wait, police are about to walk by again. Gosh, what a morning, eh? Just when you think it's going to be peaceful and quiet. Okay, if we zoom right in on the hoof. Oops, now the horse has moved back. Any experts pick that up? If the horse is actually going to settle down, we might be able to get the hoof clearly. That is actually the least clear hoof number I've ever seen. One second, the photographer, I'll see if I can uh, ask him to pick it up. I can't see if it's 120 or 96 or it's really difficult to see. One. It looks like it's 96 at the top and then underneath one, two, something. It's kind of double, double numbered. Let me see if there's a 96 on the list. That would definitely help somewhat. One second, folks. Oh, 96. Oh, we have. We have got a number six, everybody, on the list. Yep. And horsey number six on the list um, is Nimbus. Yeah, so as long as my numbering is right, as long as it's clear enough 
from the uh, the picture of the hoof and it is a 96 again it looks like 96 and underneath it 122 if it's correct that it's 96 100 percent this horse is nimbus 100 percent no doubt at all okay guard is coming out so that guys is the benefit of the list uh that is an ongoing work i'm still massively behind on my blues list that's more complicated for uh reasons that will remain for the moment uh, between myself <laughs> uh, and the blues but yeah we are 66.6 percent .6 complete with our lists now talking about the lists we've got another beauty here obviously let's have a quick look and see if i can pick up whilst i'm here the hoof print for this horse sorry the hoof number rather yep people just walking straight in front of the camera today not giving a whatever looks like 50 have a quick look okay that one's crystal clear see what I mean look this is how it normally is 55 look at that that's as clear as day easy to pick it up when uh, when the number is clear now number 55 do we have ladies and gents number 55 on our little list or is it missing I wonder oh it's on the list but even more bizarrely if I'd actually bothered to open my eyes and have a look I would have known already that the horse we're looking at now is javelin okay javelin so that's how easy it should be going forwards relatively speaking the guard instantly folks um, is a lady guard would you believe a very rare lady lifeguard horse is not in a good mood this morning at all look i think the horse is pretty much done to be honest depending on how much time he's got until uh until he changes over yeah, of course he's having a bit of a meltdown. Let's see if the lady guard can calm him down a teeny bit. I didn't actually realise that there. I feel like a fool now. It's only because obviously now I've seen the hair uh, that I've noticed it is indeed a lady lifeguard. How extraordinary. Rare, but uh, not super rare. Far rarer than the Lady Blues and Royals, I can tell you that. He seems to be settling down, this beauty. We said it's Nimbus, didn't we, this horse? glorious nimbus uh, just to mention folks that um, I won't be going through the lists and mentioning the numbers and the names okay why I've been asked not to so what I will be doing instead is using the list that I've constructed uh, with the help of some lovely friendly people uh, in HCAV um, to give you guys the names of horses as we see them but I will not going forward be uh, announcing the names as well sorry the numbers as well so just just the names going forward so there we have the first two nimbus and javelin this being nimbus the other glorious horse being the lovely javelin now looking at the clock just above horse guards it is approximately um 12 minutes 12, yeah it looks like 12 minutes to 11. um so shortly the lifeguards will be heading out uh, they'll be going to the fray ground at the back and at that point, we will find out, ladies and gents, yes, we will. We will find out which new horses are coming with the Blues and Royals today. Let's head inside whilst, uh, whilst the Gatesman, or in this case, Gateswoman, Gates Lady, Gatesman, goes back into the arches. Uh, and hopefully, when the lifeguards head out very, very soon, we will get to spot who is here today. Um, I'm seeing at the moment uh, only a pair mounted now that's curious that's very curious now is it because it's the first pair or is it because the blues are not coming today oh no here comes some more on second look multiples so there's a third horse uh, behind the horse on our left that's good let's zoom out that's the private area so it's focusing between the gates so Chitsman, everybody in the arches on this side, Gatesman behind me. Boom. But hey, as I said, folks, not for much longer. Uh, why? Because the regiments will be changing over in the course of the next 30 minutes or so. So I will endeavor, as far as I can, uh, to get that super closely going forwards. So between this moment now and around 
give or take 11.20 to 11.35, that whole process of regimental handover will occur. Yeah. If I actually stand in this puddle right here, kind of in the middle, yes, there are people in, in front of me now and there'll be other people in front, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Why? Because shortly, when the gates are heaved open, uh, the police officers and or troopers will tell everybody to move back behind the second white line, meaning we will have a very, very clear shot of the horses departing. Yes, we will, ladies and gents. And then even more exciting than that, as if that wasn't enough excitement for one morning, we will get the Blues and Royals horses arriving. That will be a little bit later, and I'll do my best to be on the right spot for that. Realistically, it should be okay. Um, then again, if there's a sort of an elevated security level this morning, sometimes they say no one's allowed over the other side. We heard that last, sorry, the week before last. No, it was actually, it was the last week before Christmas, sorry. Last week before the closure, uh, that morning when they said, hey, no one's allowed on the other side now because of uh, heightened security level. Let's see what happens this morning. Okay, officers coming back out, which means they've been told that the troops are about to depart imminently, actually. And now that we know as well, now we do and have seen the lady lifeguard captain. She's been here often recently, um, filming, etc. Filming. Inspecting the troops while I've been filming. However, that didn't happen since, let me think, last time we did the end of the inspection. November, possibly. Uh, but today we've got one of only a handful, and by that I mean less than 10. One of a handful uh, of lady lifeguards. A very, 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 very small club that is. To be female and a lifeguard. Very, very elite club. Um, I don't know if she's new. She was here the other day. I haven't seen her before. Um, immaculately presented. Uh, as indeed are pretty much all the lifeguards. But there are far, far fewer female lifeguards than there are blues. Uh, blues, I would guess, they've got to be 20 plus. I mean, I know, I know 10 odd. And I don't know all of them, so there's got to be 20, potentially even uh, two dozen. Everyone's starting to shuffle and move. Look, luckily it's not quite as uh, as mad as Monday. Now they're all going to get pushed back even further because everyone's in the wrong spot. Easy mistake to make, to be fair. Very easy mistake to make. However, it's going to depend on how the troopers bring the horses. They're either going to be like smush straight into the uh, into the crowd or not we will not have long to find out what time is it now it is 52 yeah I think momentarily in the tunnel okay in the tunnel it is not very busy look even at the back that said it's very mushy okay it is dry this morning, not raining, however, there is a lot of uh, a lot of water on the ground everywhere. It's very muddy and dirty. And I dare say the troopers have, uh, <laughs> have had to spend a lot longer than usual cleaning their kit uh, and also making sure the horses are nice and shiny, ready for the journey over to barracks at Hyde Park, which is where they'll be going when they leave here. Horse at the front settled down there, which, uh, you know what, is a good thing. Now, the question is, will the horse at the front lose it again when his friends run away? He might get a bit lonesome, he might be like, oh, <laughs> they've left me here. They've gone back to Hyde Park without me. I'm reluctant to move because the second I do, I know they're going to emerge. It's 54 now. And we've got the absolute key uninterrupted spot. Despite the fact that I'm standing in a puddle, guys, look. See? I actually am standing in a puddle, but it's okay. Why? Because one, my boots are waterproof, and two, it's the best spot. Simple. At least the crowd, actually, today, uh, are in a straight line. Unlike being sort of, you know, zigzagged, zigzagged all over the yard, as, as they were when we were here on Wednesday. This week has gone by remarkably fast and I'm not quite sure why that is. Just, just seems to vanish. Crazy thinking that tomorrow is going to be uh, 
back to the weekend again. Also, tomorrow, folks, will be uh, the first <clears throat> excuse me, full day of the Blues and Royals. Okay, Troopers removing the chain. We know what that means, don't we? Uh, and I will mention at this point, everybody, so that you know, um, on Sunday, special event here, everybody, uh, there will be a TikTok Live here at Horse Guards at 1 p.m., hosted by one of the King's Guards. That's right, folks, not by me. I will be here, but by one of the King's Guards. A world exclusive. Okay, here we go. Look at these beauties. Ta-da! Magnificent. Oh, what's he's curious? Look, he's like, hello! Oh, this one's not happy. And boom! They're out. How's about that, eh? This is the moment when all the tourists run through because the lifeguards drop breadcrumbs and little bits of cheese behind them. Look. Like, what about me? I would like some cheese too. Ta da! That's where everybody gets told to get into the side, the walkway through the tunnel, etc. Okay, we're good for a little bit. Why? Because. For the moment, ladies and gents, the, uh, the blues are not even here, so for the moment there's no point in worrying about being in the yard. Uh, I will head back in when I can see them formed up, because right now they're not even on the prey ground. Yep, they haven't actually arrived. That's If I zoom straight in, I can zoom in through the tunnel there, look. There's the lead vehicle. Just behind that vehicle, we will see the blues and royals coming across. One moment. Oh, <laughs> hold on, wait. I'm not going to try actually because the office is going to be in the way. But you get the point. The blues are going to come along behind that vehicle, form up, and then the first half of them will come through. So for the moment, we've still got beautiful javelin, magnificent javelin. There he is. Look, it's a real shame actually having just re identified him, or at this point, clarified 100%. But this is indeed javelin that we need to bid farewell. Adios, au revoir, paka, do svidanya, ciao. Oh. Sorry guys, I do hate to break the video, but obviously uh, I did say because it was important, somebody here in authority needed to speak to me. All is well, uh, a simple heads up about a small matter. Um, and we're back, that's right, and you can see that there hasn't been too much of a delay because the boxman, lifeguard boxman, in front of us uh, on, I think we said it was Nimbus, didn't we? Uh, on Nimbus, still here. And the same at the other end. Other boxman, who is on Javelin, making sure this lovely lady with the uh, sunglasses doesn't grab the reins. Oh. <laughs> ah, these girls are a little bit nervous about the horse. Like. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually very nervous. Exceedingly nervous. Okay, I will keep an eye out for what happens next. Oh, I've just noticed, actually, ladies and gents. Um, oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm going to dub try and double check. Um, she might not tell me. Actually, I don't need to double check because we've got the hoof numbers, so we know 100% the horse's name, so there's no point in me trying to reconfirm that, thinking about it, um, especially with someone that I don't know. Uh, yeah, Troopers out and about. I was just thinking to myself, I should ask her, should I say to her, um, is it Javelin? But we don't need to because we've confirmed those hoof numbers. Other horsey in this box um, is not settling down this morning. I don't know why he doesn't want to settle down, but he's absolutely not wanting to settle. Look, here he is again, out and about. Uh, at the front, not a happy bunny at all, as you can see. Don't know why he's uh, not a happy bunny, but just doesn't want to settle today. Let's hope he's all right. A female trooper will uh, hopefully settle him down. Oh, 
off, we'll see. Oh, we'll be well. Yeah, he's been out the box a couple of times. It all started off when that crazy guy was here. Um, really upset the horse, like really upset the horse. Anyway, let's uh, not worry about that. Let's not focus on the horse. He will be fine, he will settle down. Get myself over onto the side here. Because uh, what we really would like to see, obviously, if we can. Get myself squished over onto the corner here. Very, 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 very big. Sometimes they do, sometimes, it depends who's on. There was an, an alert this morning because there was some guy at the front go, making the horse go crazy, so they're being a bit, yeah, today. Busy line, actually, this morning, very busy line. So we're going to see those uh, Blues and Royals boxmen come out. I did, regrettably, folks, miss the arrival of the Blues. Why? Uh, because I did have to speak to somebody, as I mentioned earlier, uh, in a position of authority, hence having to briefly pause the video, damn it. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing, why? Because what we will get to see now, everybody, ta-da, um, is a surprise. What will the surprise be? The surprise will be not having a clue which troopers or which horses are here today with the blues. But we haven't got long to wait and that's what matters. In fact, it's only 13 minutes past 11. So in a couple of minutes, the uh, the new blues will be out. Okay, blue. Uh, the uh, officers are really new. Officers are really on it in terms of getting everybody behind that line. There are a few of us that can't quite fit behind the line, but wow, they're keeping the yard super clean and clear now compared to before. Look at this. Look, yeah, the second white line. Obviously, everyone's populating it very efficiently this morning exceedingly efficiently. The only thing that bothers me is whether a lot of people come through the tunnel um, and stand in front of me, which is a distinct possibility. In fact, it's almost a probability. <clears throat> Let's hope it doesn't happen, but looking at the number of people coming through the tunnel, it could well happen. And that obviously is going to be somewhat unfortunate because not everyone can fit here. Yeah, there are simply... Uh, too many bodies for everybody to be behind the second white line as you can see look far too many okay let's see wow everyone is all over the place I don't even know where to point the camera okay they've decided they're not going to try and squeeze in they've left they're off that group luckily none of them went through the box okay let's see what's happening next Oh, other people are getting told to get behind the second line. Problem is, there's not really space for people to get behind the second line. It's just so utterly busy here this morning. Righty ho, off we go, ladies and gents. We've got a clear view, and that's what matters. So poor at the front doesn't get uh, too upset. Righty ho, off we go. Blues and Royals trooper. Oh, who's the trooper? Aha, I know who the trooper is, recognize the trooper. Corporal of Horse in the middle. And on the other side, actually I can't quite see from this, this distance. I was just about to say Lady Trooper that we know very well, but I can't say too far back. I'll confirm that when we get to the front. But we know the trooper at this end, and I'm pretty sure he will be on either Oxford or Northumberland. Probability would suggest. Lifeguards coming back in. I was about to say for the dismount, but there is no dismount. John, wake up. Okay, so Horsey that was freaking out a little bit is all right. Oh, is he? Let's hope he is. Corporal of Horse made him jump then. Horse at the front going into the stable area first. That was the one that was not a happy chappy. So Blues and Royals, Corporal of Horse taking the two lifeguard boxmen back into the stable area. Next up will be the lifeguard shitsman and gatesman, I believe. That said... Okay, right, everyone's been allowed to move. The, uh, the lifeguard gatesman is already in the tunnel. Goodness me, it's heaving here, really heaving. Aha. 
no one's going to be getting pitched with her guys because uh, the police are keeping the tunnel clear and with good reason look at the tunnel look nobody can even get in it because there are too many people coming out of it ah. isn't that completely crazy righty ho off we go here we are blues and royals gatesman and chitsman being brought out uh, to swap over with the lady guard in the tunnel I would love guys to run into the tunnel and capture that but there, there's no chance I mean look at it it's completely solid zero chance of me getting anywhere near uh, the actual change in the tunnel okay corporal of force dusting off the trooper on my left the popularity of this place just seems to be you know in increasing by the day it really does it's an extraordinary thing least ladies and gents we've got uh, a, a relatively front row seat okay so the lady lifeguard has been relieved there she goes the Blues and the Royals Gatesman. Fine looking fellow, straight to the arches. Immaculate presentation. Super. Done. And they are done everybody. This massive amount of uh, tourists out of here. Look at them. Massive, massive amount. Extraordinary. Uh, I'm going to walk back out to the front now. Uh, it's all done. Everyone's still watching, waiting, thinking what's going to happen next. <laughs> a little, uh, little wave there from that lovely tourist. Uh, what's going to happen next, guys? Nothing. That's what's going to happen next. It's now finished. However, we will relatively shortly see, if I can capture it in time, the, uh, the rest of the lifeguard horses heading out. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure what... Uh, Oh, she, she didn't like the uh, picture of her partner took back and forwards, back and forwards, like a little yo-yo. Going for the other side now, one second. Okay, doors closed on the box. <laughs> oh goodness, she was super nervous. Respect for her though, uh, for going up to the horse. I have a lot of respect, much as I laugh about it and joke about it, I do have a lot of respect for the tourists that are nervous, the people that have never been remotely close to a horse, especially one of this size. They get over their fears, yes they're nervous, yes it's a little awkward, but, and this is the key thing, you've got to respect the fact that they push themselves through that to get the picture. Gosh, it's very busy, folks. Uh, hence me being almost at the back back of the queue. Okay, so who's this big, beautiful boy, I wonder? He's magnificent. Um, I'm not going to get the heel, hoof, not heel, hoof number uh, yet, but I will, when it gets a bit quieter, zoom in and grab it for my little list. As I said, I'm 99% certain it's Oxford or Northumberland, but... They sometimes throw a spanner in the works and bring over another magnificent so wieldy beauty just to, just to trick us. Now, which could this one be? I wonder if it's not either of those two horses. Looking for any markings, there aren't any. No socks. Um, the faintest star, I think a lot of you said before it's called the star. I can't remember, guys. You did mention a star. Just peeking out under the forelock. Have a little quick look, one second. Let's get the number, one minute, guys. 
Oh, I'm right in front. I should be able to. Okay, yep, grab the hoof number. So now that I can add that to the list uh, and match it to the name. Yeah, I know which horse it is. That's good. Okay, perfect. Other end. For some reason, when I was here just a moment ago, I completely forgot to get the hoof number uh, on this horse. I don't recognize this horse. It's a very distinctive horse. Look, is this the Blues and Rolls version of Pagan? Look at the horse's markings on its face. Look. Now, either my mind is actually a sieve or this beautiful horse is a new one. Okay, let me grab the number, which later can be added to the list. This is definitely a new one. Never, I've never seen this horse before. Either that or somebody uh, spilled some Dulux last night when they were cleaning the stables. He, this, he? Actually, wait, I think it might even be in there. He or she looks very happy and very peaceful. Okay, so that's pictures and hoof numbers. Ho, ho, ho. Got some smiles at this end from the guard. Not sure why. Maybe they, uh, they spotted a naughty person and arrested them. Tossed them into the box behind the horse. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the tourist then said, can I ask him a question? I think the microphone would have picked it up and the, the uh, police officer said he can't talk to you. Okay, so those are the numbers. The thing is, folks, and this is actually why I didn't uh, focus on it so much before, taking pictures, adding notes to a text document, trying to film focusing on the narration and keeping it consistent I'm not that talented unfortunately um, so I'll focus on the narration um, <laughs> as opposed to compa hey you didn't see you for a while all good yeah it's yeah what can I say pretty good pretty good happy to be back yeah <laughs> now, I'm very curious as to what's going to happen after the palace deluge. It's only 25 minutes past 11, so we've got a fair old wait until the uh, people start arriving from the palace. The bulk on this horse, guys, I can't even emphasize it enough. He is a colossus. Yes, the height is there, but the, the absolute bulk on this horse, honestly, reminds me of, uh, of the late and much loved Quasi. This big beauty. Good Lord, he is absolutely massive. It's one of the biggest ones we've seen for a long time, though. Like, just how wide it is as well. Yeah, it's not, it's not that kind of tall, but the body is, you know, big body. They had a big Christmas dinner, didn't they, this one? For sure. <laughs> yep, he is magnificent. What well, the other end, though, is the one that I'm very much interested in, simply because it's a new horse. Although I can't quite see from here, I don't want to be, you know, sort of zooming in to uh, to conduct, you know, uh, virtual anatomical inspections. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this horse is a mare. In which case, it will be a new mare. Yeah, those facial markings are glorious, aren't they? I try to get some super clear pictures of this horse's face this weekend at some point. The Blues will be here for a couple more days. That really is a very, very unique horse. And I'm pretty sure that's the first time... Sorry, can I you? I'm pretty sure that's the first time that I've actually ever seen the, that horse here, as I mentioned before. But the size of this one, the sheer bulk... Boom. Okay, back inside, everybody. Uh, we've still got the remainder of the lifeguard horses. They will be leaving shortly. Uh, on this side, as you can see, 
We've got the Gatesman, Losing Royals Gatesman. Uh, Quinchy Toists. Lots of people here taking pictures of the Gatesman today. And on the other side, the Chitsman. But I think I stumbled in at just the right moment because I have spotted some lovely lifeguards behind the gate. Oh, yes. How long will it be until they come out? Wait, let me have a look. Multiples are already mounted, so it won't be long. It's 11.27. Only this morning when I first got here, crazy bad this often. Who was at the front? Yeah, the police were. There were loads of police at the front. Police car there and everything. Uh, that's why the horse was freaking out a bit earlier. I think I've done a got it. Yeah, next up, those lifeguards' horses leaving, guys. Then I can finally focus on the, on the folks at the front. I've also noticed a couple of horses out. Uh, I'm going to try my very best <clears throat> to have a word. He's busy right now, uh, but I will ask him if... Uh, if he knows which horse it is that's out at the front that we've never seen before. Did you, did you see the horse on that side yet? The one that looks, it's got like all sort of white patchy. I'm, I'm sure it's new, I never saw the horse before. Really, really. No, I, but that one I think might be new. I've never seen it. Try and find out uh, the name. I think it's also a girl, I think it's a mare. Come on lifeguards. Your public fans and adoring tourists are, are waiting to bid you farewell. Okay, we are one minute from 11.30. And of course, their goal, aim, target is to be leaving at 11.30. Let's see. Adoring, adoring public. And here they come. Right, I'm in a spot, guys, where it's impossible for anybody to block the view. So we've got a front row seat here of the departure. So we've got Javelin on the left and Nimbus on the right heading out. Nimbus being the one that was a bit nervous this morning. Javelin and Nimbus. Magnificent, absolutely. Three, four. And the Corporal of Horse on another massive beauty, look at this. Here they go, extraordinary, absolutely extraordinary. Wonderful thing to see. Police are uh, making sure everybody stays from the center of the tunnel, shouting at everybody keep the tunnel clear. Uh, and we know why, don't we? Why? Because people don't listen. And the problem is, in fact, even if somebody's shouting, it's difficult because not a lot of people know what is being shouted at them. You know, if you can't speak English, it doesn't matter how loud somebody shouts, you're not going to understand what keep the tunnel clear means. Are you, to be honest? Plus, in this yard, there's something of an echo that carries. So sometimes when there are things shouted, do not touch the King's lifeguard, being a classic from that video. Even I don't know what's being shouted, okay? <laughs> and if I can't understand it, being uh, an Englishman, and it being spoken in my own language, native language, then there's zero chance for the tourists that obviously I'm assuming uh, the majority of whom do not or are not native English speakers. So yes, it's complicated and complex, but you know, what is the solution? I don't see there being one. Fundamentally. Here we are, back with the big boy. Gosh, that is a colossus of a horse, it really is. I'm still not willing to call it though, guys, whether it's Oxford or Northumberland. Not until I've seen the pictures. <laughs> I double checked, fall into that trap way too many times. But a lot of you will already know which horse this is uh, before I even get to, to drop it in the comments, I'm sure.
<laughs> they seem super happy. The girl's got a great picture there. Lifeguards have left. I've spotted them heading off over the parade ground. That means that next up will be the remainder of the Blues and Royals coming back. I say, yeah, coming back. Coming back to be King's Guard here. Corporal of Horse is letting everybody know what's happening next. And in they come, everybody. Just beyond the Corporal of Horse, you can see those remaining Blues and Royals. They're just entering the tunnel now. So we're going to get a super, super good view, actually. Bearing in mind, they're not going to line up and dismount. They're going to go straight into the stable area. Here we go. Horsey number one. That's a fluffy head beauty if ever I saw it. Horsey number two. Horsey number three. Horsey number four. Horsey number five. Horsey number six. And horsey number seven. Okay, now I'm doubly confused, everybody. We've got two corporals of horse here this morning. We've got a corporal of horse, notice the three chevrons, at the back of the troop that just went in. At the same time, we've got another corporal of horse here. Uh, again, three chevrons. And just to confirm, guys, not Lance Corporal of Horse and Corporal of Horse, two NCOs, both with three chevrons, meaning that they're both corporals of horse. No idea why. Uh, to be honest, I have absolutely no clue why there will be two corporals of horse here at the same time. There's got to be a reason for it, but I've got no clue what that reason is. But, as ever, I will try to find out. Very curious. Uh, unless one's leaving early, or another explanation would be that a particular horse needed to be brought over, possibly for an officer later today. Sometimes this time of the year when it's cold and wet, the officers come over by car instead of riding through the park in the mush. So it might well have been the case that one of the officers specifically requested that another corporal of force ride over his horse. Again, pure speculation, but that has happened in the past. So I do remember mentioning that before that. Hold on. How or why are there two corporals of force here uh, at the same time? Odd, isn't it? Now, I would understand if it were a lifeguard corporal of force and a Blues and Roars corporal of force, but it's not. It's two corporals of force in the same regiment. This massive flood of people, by the way, guys, that is uh, emerging from the tunnel. This is the post-palace crowd. Oh, this would have been a lot of the people that got to the palace too late to get to the front. And they're now coming from the back. Guard is shouting at everybody to get back. That didn't take long, did it? Who just got in trouble, I wonder? Someone did. That was a very, very, very loud shout. He absolutely didn't hold back on that one, did he? Goodness me, he's naughty, naughty, naughty tourists. I, I think that pretty much confirms that the shouting is uh, is back on the table. <laughs> uh, first time I've seen you in ages, and obviously they're, they're shouting again. You're not. Ah, yeah, it's got a crazy morning already. Did you see what happened with that mental guy at the front this morning? No, I'm part of the main building protection team. You're definitely in the right place to ride. Yeah, I don't want to be down there. I've already swung by. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's chaos. You can see it's going to be one of those uh, yeah. post palace mad days again. Yeah, it's not picking up all your clothes, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why he's general number of people here, etc., etc. <laughs> Actually, one second. One second, guys. I'm just going to pause this. Folks, we're back after pause number two. Uh, so many people coming back after they've been on a break. Uh, so apologies, obviously, you know, if people want to speak to me or vice versa, and I, I can't keep the private conversation in the video. We're back. Uh, continuity is not ideal, but we've got the same horses here. These two beauties are police horses, obviously going a little bit too fast a dapple grey is spectacular for me to ask the names but we still have the two horses that that i was uh, filming before the magnificent in front of us and at the other end that very unusual exceedingly unusual horse with uh, the unique yeah sorry i'm so sorry with the unique facial markings 
However, they will soon be swapping over. So actually our timing might be quite fortuitous because once this beauty leaves, that we're looking at now, we will find out the other two horses that are going to be on during the course of the day. So, all right. <laughs> your, dad will, your dad will ride? Yeah? Yep, so fingers crossed, all being well, we might spot two familiar faces. I've got no clue whether Ormond or any of the other super famous blues horses are here today. Uh, and for the moment, I'm much more concerned on identifying this one. Sorry. Everyone is pretty much enamored with this horse. It's a big, softy, 100%. Blues version of Pagan, I think is the best way to describe this horse. But I'm most keen to find out whether or not it's a mare. However, that might need to wait a little while because... Troopers and Corporal of Force are a little bit preoccupied today. Lots of tourists asking questions and wanting to speak with them. Uh, so I'm going to have to wait my turn, people. If I can, I will. If I can't, uh, I'll drop it into the comments at some point. It's super hard to concentrate today because of so many breaks. But what matters is that we call uh, call the horses. So far, no one's been super cheeky. There have been a few shouts in the archways, but nothing dr super dramatic. And I think the uh, increased police presence here, uh, I was told there are three or four new officers. It's now well under control. So, Troopers telling everybody to get behind the bollards, which is where I'm going right now. Behind the bollards. Behind the bollards. Gosh, so many people here, it's uh, hard to squeeze behind the bollards. I'm behind now. Oh, done it. There we are. Actually, I'm going to ask if it's possible to go inside. I've just spotted somebody that I know on the inside. I'm not sure if I'm too late there, but I'm not. I'm still allowed to go inside. Am I too late to go in? <laughs> okay, I've got permission to go in. I'm going to run right to the other end. And there's a good reason why, everybody. I'll tell you why that reason is in a, in a few moments. I've spotted someone I know who can definitely give us the, uh, the lowdown on the horses. Possibly. Ah, damn it. It's heading back. Damn it, damn it, damn it. He's, they're heading back in. Ah, they're going back in. Almost. So close. So close, yet so far. Never mind. Hopefully, to figure that a little bit later, uh, I can ask. Yep. I should have run in quicker, everybody. Then I would have known. Never mind. Compared to how smoothly it normally goes, uh, I'm not on top form today. I will admit. But you know what? I will improve. I'm kind of on the corner here in an odd spot, um, simply because, as you can see, uh, I came in the yard a bit later than usual, but more importantly, it is flipping packed. about a minute and a half off one second yeah less than 90 seconds actually then we'll know the foursome today uh, the current two boxmen and the horses we've seen names will be in the comments uh, and the second two coming out shortly I will of course also make sure to note down the hoof numbers and add those to the list and to the comments Okay, 
One minute, people. It's got really full again, look. This side, absolutely jammed in, going back into the tunnel, all the way around the yard. This ceaseless enthusiasm. Lots of Italians this morning actually on the bus. Uh, some guy said to me, do I get off at Green Park? Oh, see the officers are absolutely on it, shouting at them to get behind the bollards at the front. Oh, iron fist is what we've now got here. And you know what? Given the increased numbers, I think that's actually a really hugely positive development. Iron fist dealing with uh, unruly tourists. Okay, the two new beauties, guys, here they come. Let's see who we've got. Oh, the one on the right's interesting. That's a mare. A four socked mare. I don't recognize one on the left either. Guard on the right has handed his sword to the Lance Corporal of Horse uh, whilst he's fastening up, it looks like, the top of his collar. Handing back the sword. Never seen that before. Standards people, British Army are well known as having the highest standards in the world. Actually, so is that one. Wow, clippy copperoo. And there we are, finito. This hulking great beast coming towards us, look, you can really get an idea of how massive he is, look. The girth of that horse is the... wow. Only Cosi and Monty compare, actually. And that, ladies and gents, gives us the two new horses at the front. And I'm going to dash there in a second when everything, everything uh, goes back to normal. Uh, to try and get the hoof numbers. Look at this, look. Absolutely chocker, again, in the tunnel. Okay, right, so. Out we go, into the throng. Uh, for the last part, I've got to do my best to, uh, to find out the name of that rare and unusual, beautiful horse that I've just finished. Let's see if it's possible. second guys let, let me ask if I can oh god there are just too many people I don't think I'm going to be able to to get there in time to ask one second good lord look at the numbers it's absolutely mind-boggling absolutely mind-boggling so 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 busy in the yard like crazy busy Can I ask you a uh, okay. Can I ask you a question, Chief? The one that was in here before with the white markings. Ver very unusual. I never saw that horse before. Yes. One of the older horses. Oh, you're not gonna tell me the name. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, well, okay, guys. So, nope, not going to tell you. Interesting. Interesting. It is what it is. Don't worry. I know how to find out. I've got an idea. Oh, sorry. Let's wait and see. Okay, we're back at the front. Okay, so that apparently um, is one of the older horses. <laughs> this massive fluffy horse is amazing as well in fact really 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 beautiful horse really beautiful horse and huge Once there's room, because at the moment there isn't, as you can see, for obvious, uh, <laughs> good lord, for obvious reason, it is jam. I'm trying to move around in the crowd, but there are so many people here today. Wait. I'm trying to get close to the front, not only so we can see the beautiful massive horse, but, and this is key, uh, to try and get that hoof number. Something happened here, I don't know what, taking the horse in. He just shouted, stand back from the King's lifeguard. Nothing happened, everybody. I've got no clue why they took the horse in so quickly. We were just there a moment ago and then boom. Nothing happened, I didn't even, nothing happened. He just shouted at everybody to move and they took the horse in. Very strange. That was very curious, guys. I have no idea what happened there. There were lots of people in the way, uh, but the horse wasn't a freak out. The horse was completely fine in the box. We were just standing there 30 seconds ago. I wonder if they brought the wrong horse out. Yeah, they're going to bring another one. Very strange. No one is here. That was super odd. There was no one in the way, nothing happened. The horse was completely fine. I was there 10 seconds ago. Very, very odd. Wow, how bizarre. Did Abdullah go or is he still here? Huh? Is Abdullah still here? Okay. I don't think he's still there either. That was super unusual. So they're going to bring a new horse. Oh, well, hold on one second. Something else. It's the same horse that's coming back out into the box with the same trooper. So I think maybe something was missing from the horse. I can't think what, but they basically took the horse in, made a minor adjustment, and now the horse is back in the box. Very, very curious. That was very curious. Okay, so we're back. I was kind of thinking, no, the horse has gone permanently. We're not going to be able to get the, uh, the hoof number. But we will, right? Because I'm back. Okay, let's start at the other end and then work back once the crowd dissipates somewhat. This one is absolutely stunning. I'm not surprised to be at all, ladies and gents, if this is cute hem. Either the uh, blues have been keeping this beauty secret or. It's Q10. Oh, notice the way he's looking at the camera as I say it. Yeah, let's have a look, one second. Oh, put our fingers on the reins. That's a really beautiful horse. I'm not going to call the number though. But I've got an idea, guys. I've got a cunning plan to find out if this horse might well be. Second, let's have a quick look. Zoom in on the hooves. I'm going to know immediately if it's a lifeguard horse or not. Oh, I can't quite see. Look at those hooves. Okay, I've got the number. Let me have a look at the life. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The lifeguard list. Thank you. 
I'm not, no, no, no. I, I know who he is. He's normally here at the weekends. And his name is Nick, he's a good guy. I am um, this one. But yeah, it's 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 the same. Thing. Just for the, the reason. Yeah, he's a, he's a good guy, but he will probably be here tomorrow. Normally, he's here Mondays or Saturdays. Good luck. Okay, folks, one second. Uh, Nick, if you're watching this video, that was a fan from Canada uh, that wants to say hi. Back to the number. Okay, this one confuses me even more now. It doesn't have LG on either hoof, but on the right hoof, it has RHGT. I've never seen that before. And so now I'm even more confused than before I started here. Would you believe? I didn't think that was possible, but 100%. RG, it looks like RGHT. Wait, let me hold it up, guys. Anyone know what that means? Oh. RHGT, I think. Royal Horse Guards. I don't know. No idea. Good lord. That's extraordinary. So we don't even know which regiment this horse is from. However, I'm calling Q10. Yep. That said, let's go quickly before I finish this video uh, and get the number at the other end. Why? Because. I'm interested to see what's on this horse's other hoof. So if we've got the number on the horse behind us and then RGHT or whatever it was, then what have we got on this horse's hoof? The plot thickens. If I can get close enough to actually even spot it, which might not be possible, let's see. Nope, I'm not, I need to be right in front, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get the numbers. And this is getting complicated, people. Right, let's have a quick look. See if I can get right in front. Now, guys, you know why it took so long to compile this list. Police beauty's coming out first, then I'll focus on the... Oh, wow, look at this one. Wow. Oh, my God, that's the biggest police horse I've ever seen. Hold on, I've got to ask. One second. Officer? Can I ask the name of this massive horse? Quixote. 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 Wow. Oh my God, that's the biggest horse I've ever seen in my life. It's massive, no? Whoa. I think he's a coyote. Quixote. Wow. That horse is giant. It even makes the uh, Blues and Rolls horse. Even, look, even the Blues and Rolls horse is looking at it, thinking, "Oh my God, if only I was that big." Everyone, all of us are struggling with filming this morning, folks. It's just too busy. We can't move around freely. Crazy. Okay, I'm kind of close to the front. Let's see if I can get those hoof numbers. Easier said than done. So I got them. Let's have a look and see. Forget about the hoof number. Let's have a look and see what it says on the other hoof. Okay, so it's the same thing. R H G T. Let's see. Okay, perfect. All right, that's good. Good, good, good. I'm guessing at the latest, folks, by the end of next week, I should have finished the lifeguard list. As I said, it's 66% complete, but I've got a lot of additions to make. The blues list is a work on going. That's more complicated for reasons that I can't really allude to. But eventually it will also be complete. At which point, the second we spot any horse here, regardless of who's sitting on it or which regiment, I'll be able to look at the list and say, people, that horse is blah blah as I did this morning with the first two lifeguard horses Nimbus and Javelin 
So that, folks, is why, and even some of the guards asked me this, like, why are you so concerned with the hoof numbers? That's why um, I'm taking the pictures and adding them to the database to cross-reference them with the regiments, and more importantly, with the pictures that I take with their unique markings. Not only that, folks, um, I can also reveal for the first time that there are more mares than we thought, okay? I'm just going to read you a couple of the names. One second, let me find the message before I end this video. And I'm going to read you some of the names of the mares that, one, I didn't even know existed, and two, we've never yet seen here at Horse Guards. Okay, so, Kimberly, okay, is a mare. Sophie is a mare. Victoria is a mare. Obviously, Pagan is a mare. That's the fourth one. Isabel, number five. And Verona, number six, okay? So that, for the first time ever, six mares. We've got a, a small king's guard here, everybody, getting his pictures taken with the actual guard. Look at this. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, I must admit. <laughs> so many toys that they're watching with their mouths open, like, oh, that's super sweet. And it is, to be honest. We all know very famous Frank, who's here a lot with his dad. Um, but occasionally we do get other people bringing their kids along dressed as guards. Everyone at the moment is curious, where's the guard? He's actually currently, everybody, uh, behind the guard shop. He will re-emerge in just a moment, look. They were like, uh, mon dieu, where is the, the god? And the second, that will change to, regardez le god. Look. If they get much further forward, then um, the guard is going to shout at them. And they're Frenchies, so let's hope he does. I think they're jealous because they haven't got any royal guards. Uh, they used to have some, uh, but we all know what happened uh, and what happened with the royal guards. <laughs> One moment, they were there, and the next moment, no, they were gone. Actually, it's very curious to know where the guard has gone. I'm actually partially curious to know as well. So here, stand back at a safe distance. We can see if and when the guard emerges. The Frenchies, they want to know where is the guard. He's going to go complain to Air France after this and say, guys, I really need a refund. You promised me a trip to London with the King's Guard. I got the London, but I didn't get the Guard. Oh, look. He's that mon dieu. The Guard. He is back. C'est super. There he is, look, the guard intimidated the Frenchy. I'm actually shocked by that, folks, because I've never in my life heard of anyone from France retreating under any circumstances. But you just saw it right there. He retreated. The second the British trooper arrived, he retreated. That's a very, very unusual characteristic for anyone from France. But there it is. Uh, and on that note, ladies and gents, uh, <laughs> despite the <laughs> occasional breaks and interruptions, um, in today's video uh, and somewhat less than ideal narrative it was pretty good I'm not gonna lie but I can do better that's it for today however tomorrow is Saturday we know what that means people don't we oh yes yes we do out of here for now guys I will see you all back here at horse guards tomorrow bye for now